previously. God damn it. Go away, child. And so we go. Hello, friends. My name's Internet, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We are going to be... I forgot how to play the game. Um, yeah. We're going to be playing Chapter 3 now. So let's... Nope, that's... Go back. Ah, that's right. Z is the button I want. So, new game for Chapter 3. Let's do this shit. Get my mouse out of here. Go away, mouse. View the Chapter 3 opening. Yes. I can't take much more of this. What's wrong with this school? Who the hell was that and why is he here? If we got hit with the hammer like that, we'd be goners. Where's Kurosaki? Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into him any minute now. I'm sure of it. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to die like that. You saw it too, right? I don't know what you said. It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it. Seriously. Kitty cat's in my lap. Let's see her. Let's see. Damn it, where did everybody go? Uh, what? Look! Look, Roy. Look, the hallway! It. It can't be. The corridor. It grew. What? Are you. No, the other way. Look, down the hall. Something's... Yeah, I think something's coming. What? Ah! Whoa, what? Be louder, but my sister's still asleep. No! What an opening. Shit is getting real, real quick. One is dying. Oh. <laughs> Come on, get up. Never even seen this place. What's happening? What the hell is going on? Can I move you yet? No? You gotta move yourself? Okay, that's cool. Ah! Give me back my head. Have your head. Yeah! <sighs> yeah, I'd rather my sister not think I was dying while I was recording, if that's okay. Unidentified caller. Connecting. Uh, hello? Help me. 
Help me. Naomi, are you there? Answer me, please. Mom? Mom? Mom, mom, it's me. I'm in real trouble. Naomi, please, just let me hear your voice. Please, just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. Uh, please don't let anything have happened to her. Help me. Help me. Help me. Hey, we're back to Naomi. Help me. No! Seiko, I don't understand. You said we'd make it out of here. Together. Why would you kill yourself? What happened? What did you see? It really is a pity. <gasps> Who are you? I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? The curse that holds the school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to their great lengths to prevent it, even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes they start hurting people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. That's horrible! Now that your friend has passed away, this school, this space, is yours alone. You're its only living occupant. No. You will be all by yourself from here on out until the day you die. Well, that's just rude. Uh, my cell phone. It does have Seiko's number stored in it. Satoshi's too. Oh shit. Oh, ow. Oh god, it hurts. That sound, was that my leg? Uh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Put yourself together. You're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like you. I'm I'm not tough at all. Seiko! Seiko! I can't take any more of this. Somebody please help me. Aww. Help me. Satoshi. You're doing great, Yuka. I'm really impressed by how long you've gone without crying. Uh huh. I'm not crying, I'm not. I sense other corporeal beings, such as yourself, were brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled in at once. That would be me, Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinazaki, Siyue, Shinohara, Suzumoto, Moshigi. In other words, everybody in the room at the time. Damn it. So everybody else is in this school too? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is an access to closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they're all indeed they are indeed all in the school, but it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. If you should attempt to defy the will of the school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath, and that's a fate best avoided. 
we have to try anyways. We appreciate the warnings, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Your brother. They're all such good people. They've done nothing to deserve this. And I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire to not let a single person die? Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors you may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better, if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. Your brother? Who is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yue and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get home too. If we come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. There must be an entrance way, an emergency exit, a roof access, or something that leads outside. And if there is, you go straight home. No buts. Fish. Oh, okay. Alright. Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked. There's no way of getting to it. Can I push this? No? Okay. I'm gonna turn this down. It is so fucking loud. Too much. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's right. I can move with my, uh, these keys. There's a newspaper article pinned to the wall. It's from the publication called Heavenly Post. The headline reads, Breaking news, serial kidnapping, and some murder, but much of the news print is worn away. The bodies of the Escondid youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary Building on September 18th, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities were further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them alive but near catatonic holding a pair of bloody scissors. Everything before and after this part is too faded to be legible. What a horrible incident. I remember hearing about this from Shinazaki. During one of her candlelit vigils, I guess she did say it was a true story. <sighs> Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, the bucket. It's a rusty bucket on the ground. It's empty. There is nothing in here worthwhile. Hey, there's a board up there I didn't see. Alright, we'll go up there. Um, hello? Child spirit? That red dress looked pretty old fashioned. Uh, but your brother. It's okay. She's gone now. We'll be fine. Aww. Wait. Ward's over there now. Okay. just me or is the board moving? Yeah, it was on the other side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact so spot it was sitting before. Uh, I think it was like here, right? Hey, Yuka, can you wait here for just a second? Huh? Big brother? No, don't leave me. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come right back, you promise? You bet. Okay. You go be safe. You go, can you grab that board? Uh huh, I got it. Acquired this board. Nicely done. I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Actually, wait a sec, big brother. Hmm? What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Ooh, there's sure a lot of them in here. 
Oh ho. Give it a snip. Hey, caramel. That smells really good. Isn't it neat? Probably spend our allowance at the stationery shop in town again. See? Caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. Flavor, this place is frightening you? Don't worry, it'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, I really don't mind. You take it. Huh? I just... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. You're a scatterbrain. You always get freaked out so easily and it really scares me. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Oh, oh shit. I don't I don't know what I should do. Um Uh That's not it. I'm on chapter three, right? Right? That's just rude. Maybe I can find it if I do this. Why does all of this repeat for PSB? Like, for real? All of these are for PSB. I just want to know if I should take the goddamn thing. Uh, chapter three. These are just the endings. That's not what I want at all. It's chapter five. Chapter four. Ah, I think I'm figuring it out. Is this chapter three? Yeah. Uh So I need to accept Yuka's beads, I think, to get the good ending. Oh no, I know, I'm looking this up, I feel bad, but like, god damn it, you know, I want to get a good ending, and I don't remember any of this game, and I wanted to take it, but if Yuka dies, I'm starting the game over, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. All right. Let's see. So don't read the victim's memoirs. Don't walk on the green vial. Don't get caught by the girl spirit. Uh, accept the beads. Don't make eye contact with the boy. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, okay. Whatever. It'll work. I'll take it. Alright, I guess I could borrow it for a little. Thanks. <laughs> take good care of it, okay? Caramel and flavor will keep you safe, but it's not all. Wanna know what else it does? It's a secret! Huh? What do you mean by that? 
If I tell you, you'll get all bothered. So I'm not gonna. Something that would bother me? More than calling me a scatterbrain? <laughs> Receive set of beats. Alright. Uh, can I go this way? Sort of. What does seem to be faintly hovering over the flyer on the wall? Fortunately, they keep lightening and darkening, moving and fluctuating, making it impossible to infer whatever message they mean to convey. It's really dark in this room. Oh, good. Ah! Owie, you hurt my hand, big brother. Eek! You good, don't look. It's not a prop or anything, it's a real dead body. This is really happening, isn't it? Big brother? Dead body, an actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are all of us gonna die here? Big brother! Uh, Yuka, it, it's okay. Come on, Yuka, we're leaving this room. There's a corpse sprawled out on the ground that's decomposing rapidly. A message has been painstakingly carved into the floorboards next to it, seemingly with fingernails alone. Uh, I want to save before I do anything. Kill me, please kill me, please kill me, please kill me. Can't take any more, can't take any more, can't take any more. Let me out. Amazaki was senior private school class 2 4, Takayuka Yuki Motomura. Moto Motomura. It's another one. It's a corpse brought on the ground, it's clutching a letter in sand, and the letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another but again before my death. I no longer have the energy to move, and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongue's starting to swell up like a sponge and it keeps cutting off my air. I find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hiroko Motomura from the Mizaki West High Class 2-4. Huh. Shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. Book of the Beetle Wings. Okay. Death is blind. It comes for all souls regardless of their worth or lack thereof. All right. Victim's memoir is one of five. Otaki, Mr. Mura, I want to see you again. A ghost told me that you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're all in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my math one class at prep school. My sister is going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd believe this excuse even if I told her though. I feel like I, if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you, and I'm going to find it. Alright. So that's one of five of the victims' memoirs. Can I walk down here? No, I have to go through here. Yep. Alright. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Yo, you okay? You okay? Big brother, will we be ever to have, will we be able to go home again? Can't talk. Or are we really stuck here until we die? It's not true, right, big brother, right? We'll be okay, you okay? We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuka. All of us. Together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you've got me, right? 
Uh huh. Yes. That's yeah. a good girl. Big brother. <laughs> Nerves got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation and show you that there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. We need to find her as soon as we can. Alright, let's do this. That's not where I want to go. Alright. Well. Eek! Damn, another earthquake. You could grab my hand. That didn't sound good. It's over. Oh. Something change back this way. Sounded like something fell and broke this direction, didn't it? Like, is it just me or maybe not? Wait, let me look at the actual thing again. Nope. Worth a shot. Let's go look up here more and see if maybe something up here changed. Ugh. The sound of the flies buzzing creeps me the hell out. I think... Nope, nothing changed. Alright, it was worth a shot. All right, let's go. Buzz, buzz. Okay. Well, guess we're going back down this way. Cool. Another dead body. Skeletal remains of a young girl sprawled out across the ground. Looking closely, she seems to be holding a letter in her bony fingers. Yo, Yasuke, Yasuke, I'm so sorry. If only I haven't discovered that stupid charm. Hakuro, number three, junior high school, class three, five, Mal Kashiwanti. Junior high school student? Good God. You missed the final bell, you missed the end of school. If you're still here, then you always will be. Uh, school this. If you wish to learn more about this school, you must turn every page and rifle through every shelf of every cabinet. Many messages have been left behind by the others who become trapped within these walls. May you use the their words as a guide to help break free of the curse. Alright then. Front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Hey, victim's memoirs two of five. I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. 
It said there's a hallway somewhere in this that changes size, appearing longer or shorter pretty much on whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. What? The heavy cabinets collapse across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. Why... Uh, you kill me. You pay. Dirty husk left behind by the soul, filthy, disgusting carbon dust. I didn't want to look at the boy. Like, obviously, in the last chapter, that didn't work out well, so. Repulsive bag of meat and tissue, yet one must scrub and clean it well, presented at the moment of salvation. For the Lord doth watch over us always. Lovely. There's a chair here. This hallway is really bright. Infirmary, the door is locked. Great. Hey. There's no dead things there. Science lab. The door seems to be affixed to the wall like a model. It can't be opened. Oh god, it's so fucking dark. What the hell? What is that all about? I can't go over there for any reason. The skeletal remains of a female student are sprawled across the floor. Pinned to what's left of her school uniform is the student ID name tag. St. Marianne University High School, Class 2-1, Megumi Sugui. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Yeah. Acquired unknown key. Bet that goes to the cabinet. Laboratories. Boys room to the left. Girls room at the end of the hall. Big brother. What's up? I have to go potty. Uh, oh, well the sign says this is the laboratory, so go ahead. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Yuka, sorry to ask, but which one is it? PP. Gotcha. If anything happens, just yell real loud, okay? Okay. You could wait, like, by the door. I hate asking such a personal question, but this is a place full of surprises. I need to know how long to wait before getting worried. Hey, done already? Big brother, I couldn't go. Huh? Oh. Seriously? You weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. Let's try to find another bathroom, okay? Can you hold it? Mm. Be nice if the boys were more an option, at least. Well. Back we go, then. Do, 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 do. I got a key. Can I grab this board now? No. Uh, back down the dark hallway. I don't know why this is so dark in that one spot. Fucking creepy as hell if you ask me. I guess that's the point though, isn't it? Oh. I wonder if the kid is still here. Yep. Ignore the child and move on with my life. Can you pee here? Guess not. Okay. I bet the key goes here. Um I have a key. Okay, I guess the key doesn't work there. Did I miss something? Like, what the hell? Yes. K. 
Can the key go here? No? Uh, let's go look up here real quick. It can't even go this way. Hmm. Well. Fuck it. Alright, well, you know what? I've been recorded for about a little over 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and that episode there. Um, I, Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out. Bye!